Um, jack up the truck, remove the diff, and then we can strip it. Now, how am I gonna film this? And it looks like it's gonna have to be modified straight out of the packet. So what's unusual about that? All right, that should be high enough. Now we need to get our axle stands on here. Um, but we need to keep it far enough forward that I can still get the leaf spring out because I have something planned for that as well. About there maybe. <coughs> Nothing else to jack it up underneath here with. Um, this way on this side. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to take, I might have to take the battery box out. Um, I'm not sure. All right, so just remove the, the cover for the battery box. Um, and this is the, this is the dilemma. I want it there, but it's going to hit that. Do I take this out? It's only three bolts. Not that difficult to do. Just one more thing to put back in. Is it a 12? It is, I already have the, the ratchet handy, so I think I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I've moved the battery box out of the way. Now I can put this where I want it, lower the diff onto it, undo this bolt, um, undo the drive shaft, undo the back leaf spring, undo the shocks, and it should just fall out. With any luck. Right, yeah, so I've got the the uh, jack stand in like that so that it catches this but it's not going to get in the way of the leaf spring removal wow all right okay so I've been sitting here for about uh, 10 minutes looking at this trying to think of the best way to attack it um, one way would be to undo the leaf springs, undo the drive shaft, undo the shocks, and undo the handbrake cables, drop it, and then I can roll it around on the floor. Um, but the problem with that is um, I want to keep the handbrake cables from this car. Now, do I remove the handbrake cables from the car and then put them back in again, or do I just leave them in the car and then connect them up later? So that's where I'm at. I might pop the wheel off, disconnect the handbrake, and then put the wheel back on. That would work, but that, if I recall, is a pretty big job. I'm not sure if I want to bother with that. Um, but I don't know how difficult it is to do at the other end. I'm not sure how many attachments. I think there's like three or four attachments, uh, parts where it's attached to the cup. And I don't want to deal with all that. So this might be easier. So let's run a wheel off and have a look at it. Set of sockets. What size are we? Let's see. Are you that one? No. Are you that one? No. What? Oh, these have been put on around the wrong way. What's that one? Ugh. Get in there, you bastard. Right. Wheel off. No. 
this was easy. I have to turn the handbrake off. <sighs> wow. Okay. Uh, that's a bit of touching. So where are we? Do we dismantle it here? Or... I can always pull the brakes out. I'm not reusing any of that. And then I could still put the wheel back on and roll it around if I wanted to. But what that would achieve is this would still be here, which is what I want. So, hmm, why don't we do that? Why don't we pull the brakes and everything off? Um, how much time do I have left? I've got about 30 minutes, so I might be able to get, I'll get some of this done. First things first, these brake pads out. This was not easy last time I did it. And I cannot remember why. There we go. There's one brake pad. These are in good condition, so I'll reuse those. None of this is getting reused. I've bought all new springs, all new pins, new pads, even though those have still got 90% life left in them. I may as well do it, I thought. That looks like it's still in good condition. So I'll reuse that as well. Now the handbrake is loose. We can get that pin out from the back like that. There is a 10 mil here. This can come out. Now I can put the wheel back on um, and still roll the diff around. Perfect. Let's do that. Get that out of there. Do not try and drive the carry truck now. You will have a bad time. Right, rinse and repeat for the other side. Very easy to remove. Right, that one there. It's uh, 17. It's after 9, 9 p.m. so I'm not using power tools. I'm not using air tools.
confusing. Why does that come off so easily? I know I said no, no power tools, but it's happening. Just to get that off. I wasn't that loud, was it? It's fine. Get the other side while I'm here. Development. Just got the last of the drive shaft bolts out. Next up, it's that brake line. Um, not looking forward to this because it's going to start dropping brake fluid everywhere. The diff's out. Um, everything's loose. Well, everything's off. Just need to get this shit out of the way and wheel it back. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to get it from there to over here, um, but I'll figure it out. I ended up lifting it to get it past the monkey bike and everything. Um, I guess now I need to get it onto axle stands um, and then start stripping it. That is it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to support the show, head over to the Garage K Facebook page and purchase one of my key rings. put your name on my door. Thanks again. See you in the next episode, guys. Later.